Yes! Hey folks and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. I'm out here at Bally Haley Country Club on the north course, an executive course, which is a lot of par threes and a few short par fours. It's one of my favorite experiences to just get out and have some fun. You can practice your approach game a lot. Uh, I was a member here at this course uh, for the past five years, not this year. Uh, it's taken new ownership and uh, it's formerly the Black Duck course at Clovelly. So I'm hoping to get out there and show you a good time. It's a beautiful experience. Uh, let's uh, tee it up and I'm going to play it from the back tees today. We're going to tip it out and just have some fun. I'm the first one out here. It's a little cold. In Newfoundland, September is usually our best golf weather and everything's grown up nice. It's unusually cold right now, late September. Probably the effects of Hurricane Lee kind of passing by. Uh, so we're teeing off at you know about eight degrees and it's supposed to get a little warmer throughout the day so i haven't taken a swing yet today we're going to be swinging wild off the first tee and see what happens so let's do it all right we've got a nice sunrise coming up a beautiful orange sun i'll show it to you a little bit later the uh this is number one it's a par four and it plays 362 yards it can be really tempting to take a driver here uh, but there's a lot of trouble on both sides and there's not really a need to take it. So I'm gonna to try to play it safe, especially, you know, coming out with no swings in my body yet. I'm gonna hit a three hybrid and just try to put it in play. So let's see if we can shake off this chill and get started. All right, down the left side should be close to the middle of the fairway, kind of bounced to the right. Good start. And it is nice out here this morning. Look at this place. Okay, a nice spot in the fairway here. I have 145 to the pin. It's cold, that's gonna take some off the ball, but it's also downwind a little bit. There's not much of a breeze right now. Let's see if we can get it at least in between the bunkers if it does come up short. Well, I'm going a little bit right. Oh. Well, I got a big bounce off the hill, but we're safe. All right, we carried it pin high, just uh, off the right side of the green across this path here. I think the fades, the little slices are gonna be common because I just gotta get warmed up, get that turn in. So, you know, the cold hands are gonna be tested here with these feel shots. So I got a 54 degree wedge. I'd just like an opportunity to putt. That's a nice chip. It's pretty close. All right, we put it pretty close. Not really an opportunity to get a feel for the speeds of the green, but hopefully we can tap this in. A par would be nice. None of these are gimmies. I'm gonna have to get used to the speeds of these greens. I think it's just a little left side. Yes. Par to start. Nice little par three here. Well, the sun's coming out above the trees. I clocked it with the range finder at 117 to the pin. Again, it's downwind a bit and the wind is going off to the right and it's cold, so I'm gonna take a pitching wedge. I'm gonna take a little bit extra club and play it out to the left a little bit to kind of accommodate that fade I'm getting. Hopefully I can start to feel that turn and get warmed up. Let's have fun with this par three. I think it's good. All right, we hit the green on this left side and kind of bounced and rolled and there we are about uh, 12 feet away, 10 feet maybe. This is probably going to break a little bit right to left. Boy, these greens are in really good shape. Oh, it went straight. Okay, that's all right. We got a par. I'm happy with that. All right, number three is a nice short par three. I uh, clocked it in at about 95 up the hill, like it's playing 95 with the slope. 
but we're dead into the wind and it's getting a little bit gusty. Hopefully the mic is clear. So I'm going to take a little extra club. Um, I'm going to take a gap wedge. It's usually about my 115 club and I think a solid hit should get us there. Playing it out to the left a little bit for the wind. right on the pin line. A little right of the pin, we'll see. Well, this one looked a lot better off the tee. We're just on the fringe here, and it's hard to read the break. Could be pretty straight, maybe go right to left a little bit. I think the angle of the fringe here might boost it off to the left a little bit too, so I might go a little further left than I like. Let's see if we can get the speed down. That's most important. Turn. Ooh, a little long. Good putt, but I didn't get the break or that little boost I thought. This is a tester. All right. I didn't expect to putt that one out of camera range. <laughs> so I had to move the camera. It's a tricky little putt. It's kind of on a, uh, a little peak here. So can't give it too much break. It's downhill and quick, so a little bit inside right edge, I think, should be okay. Just a mellow little stroke. Oh, yes. Yes, we saved it. Par on number three. Whew. I think my coffee can keep me warm. It might be cold already. Ah, a little bit. Okay, so number four here plays 286. Now we're into the wind here, so it's gonna be tough. I mean, I can't get there anyway from, from here. But when you play from the intermediate tees, I mean, for me, this green is sometimes drivable. So it's a fun par four if, you know, wind is in your favor and it's a nice day. So we just wanna, we're gonna hit a driver just for fun, see if we can put it in play. Now a little tip for cold weather golf. I often keep two balls in my pocket and switch them each hole so the ball is a little bit warmer. I don't know if it makes a difference, but eh, feels like it could. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, I'm just playing that little fade, slicey, right into the middle of the fairway. Okay, so it is breezy and cold. I have 84 left into the pin. Now that would be a good comfortable sand wedge, but because of the wind and the cold, I'm going to take a little extra club, hit it a little softer. So I've got a gap wedge here and just see if we can get it onto the front of the green. That'd be nice. Nice little swing. Oh, I pulled it a little bit. Oh, looked like a good shot, but I just pulled it a little short. All right, short sided myself a little bit here. I've got a 60 degree because there's not much room to work with. I'm on an upslope. Long grass, hopefully I can give myself a putt. Oh, yes, that was sweet, Bernie. Woo. Bernie always feels nice. This is uh, number five. It's playing 160 yards. But it's into the wind, and I often have trouble with this one. With the cold, I'm taking an extra club. I'm going to take a five iron. Maybe you can hear those gusts. It is windy. Maybe just a smooth swing. I have trouble hitting this green sometimes from the back tees. So hopefully today, we can make something happen. Nice and smooth. Oh, good strike, but I faded it a little bit too much. That's what happens to me here. Oh, it came up really short too. Probably a good thing. Hopefully a chip and a putt. Maybe another chip in. Very surprised how short <laughs> that five iron came into that wind and cold. But uh, this is part of Newfoundland golf. You'd be surprised. So I've got a ways here, maybe 30 yards or so. I'm going to take a 54, hopefully just carry this mound and release it up the green a little bit but it's a touchy little shot with a tight lie here. I gotta be careful with it. Play it to the right a little bit since the green slopes towards the front. 
Oh, that looks good. That rolled past the pin. We have a tricky putt coming back. Little uh, six footer here, turning uh, left to right. Hopefully we can drop it in, save a par. Oh, too much break. That's okay, we had a stroke to play with after that birdie. We're in for a bogey. Nice little par three here. I scoped it at 130. I'm gonna take extra club. I'm gonna take an eight iron just because of how cold it is. You don't wanna miss right here, but hopefully this wind blowing right to left will straighten out that fade a bit. So hopefully we can give ourselves a putt. I think it's just maybe front of the green or right side of the green. All right, we did tumble onto the green here. This is a really long putt. This is where distance is gonna play a, a factor where if I don't get the speed right, it's gonna be tough. So I think this might break a little right to left as it gets down to the pin, especially if the wind helps the putt. There's a point in there where it could break back to the right, but we'll see if it all evens out in the end. Big putt here. Go left, go left, go left. Really good speed. Even a little long, but that's not bad. Ooh, yes. Saved our par. That was some two putt. Exciting. Oh, I had another par four up the hill, 272. Another one that is sometimes drivable in the right conditions, but not today. This wind is, is going to um, fade the ball even more, so I gotta be careful here, play it to the left. All right, that's working. Well up there, in the fairway. The swing was a little awkward, but we're in good shape. We just stayed in the fairway there. I've got 62 to the pin, I believe. I've got a 54 degree and I'm hoping to get it to the top tier. So I can't be too easy on this. I've got a almost like a little three quarter swing in that wind. Let's see, it's still kind of delicate. A little short, but that was a nice ball flight. I like that shot. All right, about 20 feet. The ball is actually in its pitch mark. So we'll fix that and replace it. All right, there we go. Now, I would have loved to get that a little bit closer, but you know, whether it's two feet away or 20 feet away or 40 feet away. It's a birdie opportunity. So we have to revel in that. Uh, this green is a little tough to read. There's a bank over there. I know this green sometimes pulls this way. I'm gonna play it fairly straight. Maybe, maybe the wind will hold off that right to left a little bit. Let's see, uphill. If anything, it might miss left. I'm getting the speeds. Not bad there. Did miss that little bit left. Let's tap her in. And walk away. Pretty easy par. That's nice. All right, another par three here, playing 145. Hurting breeze right to left. Uh, I don't know what to take because the distances are coming up short. I'm gonna take a six iron. And hopefully, this is a green that feels good to get on, so hopefully I can get it up there. Oh, I pulled it a little bit. I was expecting to play that fade. Well, I'm just short in that deep, grassy bunker. <laughs> okay, I put myself in a really tough spot here. 
deep grass. It feels like a bunker even though it's really grassy. Um, got a 54 degree wedge because I'm on an upslope. It's also below the feet. So all I want is a chance to putt. This is delicate. This is tough. All right. I was afraid of pulling it that way just because of the slope and everything. But we've got a chance at a putt. Uh, would have been ideal to leave this below the hole. We've got a downhill slope here. Gonna break left to right a little bit. Very delicate. Oh no! So close. So close. All right, that's a bogey. We'll take it. All right, number nine here, 304 yard, par four, downhill. Lots of room out to the right if you hit it far enough. TI, let it fly. That's the beauty. All right, a nice drive into the middle of the fairway. We've got uh, 74 yards left. I feel like this has 54 degree sand wedge written all over it. Feels good. Might be a little long, we'll see. Gotta replace those divots. All right, long putt here. I took it a little bit long. I feel like this could break left to right, but it's hard to tell. Maybe the wind will help it. So I'm gonna kind of play it to the left side there. Again, speed is everything with these. Boy, they're rolling nice. All right, not bad. Another tap in. You know, you wanna be aggressive and get it past the hole, but some of these are a little testy. Not that one. That's a par, that's a one over front nine. A tenth tee box here. You can see that's number 18 fairway coming in, so it's gonna be a really nice journey inside. And there's 10. Okay, I was hoping by the back nine we might be able to lose the puffy jacket, I mean, if you're not self-conscious on camera enough, you get a puffy jacket out here and you feel like a big boy. But um, this uh, could be easily be a safety club uh, tee shot. It's 331 yard par four, but I have a good feeling off the tee on the uh, last hole there. So I'm gonna hit driver and hopefully keep it in play. Ooh, wind just picked up, it's hurting a bit going left to right. I'm going to go up the left side. Okay, by trying to push it left or pull it left, I ended up fading it, but it's absolutely fine. Okay, not the most beautiful tee shot there, but it came into the rough and just bounced down this bank and luckily we got a nice fairway lie. But I think it was the right uh, call. Like even a safety club, like a hybrid, would bring those couple of big bunkers uh, in play if you hit it a little bit offline into this wind and come up short. So, so we're in good shape here. I've got about 130 to the pin uphill, but things are coming up short and it's windy. So I'm gonna take an eight iron. I'll hopefully give myself a putt, get it on the green. Let's see how we do. Man, it's beautiful out here. This is enjoyable. Oh, that's a good strike. Wind's carrying it a bit. I think I'm on the green. There is a bunker just short right of that green, so I really hope we didn't get caught up there. All right, we came up here. We're just on the very edge of the fringe there, pin high. There's the uh, bunker I was worried about, so thank goodness we've got a putt for birdie. Nice little view here, putting into the wind. It's gonna turn right to left, maybe a bit downhill to start, back uphill to finish. You can see the backdrop is number 14, 15, 16, all wide open, we'll see that when we get there. It's uh, really nice out here. 
So let's see if we can make a nice birdie just to cap it off. Woo! I like that speed a little harder, might have kept it online, but I've been hitting things, you know, three, even four feet past and luckily making the, the putts coming back. That's not bad, that's an easy tap in. And par on number 10. Playing pretty well, kind of stress free. All right, number 11 here is a bit of a teaser. It's a par four, but it's playing 260 from the back. There's a lot of trouble around the green down there. So I'm gonna take kind of a safety club. I'm gonna take a three hybrid and uh, just try and give myself a shot into the green. After I hit it, I might take a big club just for fun, see what happens. So three hybrid, give ourselves a nice you know, nine iron or pitching wedge in hopefully. All right, position A. Love it, we have a nice approach with that. Should we have some fun? I think so. An old pinnacle I found just on the course there. I'm gonna hit driver, see what happens. Come back around. See when we get up there, I've played the fade, but it might not have faded just enough. That was just for fun anyway. I think it's safe on the left side of the green. Okay, this is where the three hybrid landed. It's 52 yards to the pin. I've got a 54 degree wedge, just a nice sort of half swing. I'm gonna play it a little bit left because I do think the breeze is gonna pull this lob over a little bit. But I don't wanna pull it too far left. Look at all the trouble here. Lots of big bunkers. This is why it's an aggressive play to go for the green. But a lot of people do. I've made uh, couple of eagles here my friends have lots of birdies I can actually see that pinnacle up on the left side over there so you know sometimes it's worth it let's see how we do with the safe play whoa that took a peek <laughs> all right little breaker left here uh, you can probably tell by the slope of the green, but we like these opportunities. Oh, this can go a long way. Birdie. Yes! Love that. Safe play worked out. All right. All right, number 12. I have 82 into the wind. Boy, you have some nice scenery here. I can hear the ducks out there. Often lots of wildlife and osprey flying around here. I've actually been here, seen lots of moose on the, these courses. And uh, the last time I played here, there was a bunch of moose prints across this green. <laughs> so they like uh, playing the course too. So even though this front pin location is playing 82, I mean, we're playing straight into the wind and I feel like a sand wedge would uh, balloon up a little bit and come up short, which wouldn't be so bad. I'm just going to try and take a smoother gap wedge and hopefully give ourselves a nice spot. Woo! Caught it a little thin that was right on the pin line, but boy did that ever spin out to the right. Thin to win, birdie putt. And that was a nice approach. There's my pitch mark. But because it's such soft conditions, instead of going straight out to the pin, it kind of spun out to the right here. And I've got a testy putt, but we've got a putt nonetheless. See if we can ride that momentum from the last birdie. I'm kind of feeling this one. It's a tough putt. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna break. I think it might break a little bit like this, left to right, but really hard to tell because that's the front of the green. The water is that side, so I'm going uphill, that's for sure. And then from down here, it looks like it breaks right to left. Okay, I'm gonna play it for right edge. 
And hey, a tap in would be nice. Birdie would be better. Oh, it did break left to right. Don't you hate that when you get those different reads from two sides? That's why it's good to walk around and get to get a feel for what you've got. We're in for par. Always happy with a par. All right, number 13, another par three here. And it's playing 160. Wind is kind of coming right to left, but I feel like it's hurting a little bit. But I'm uncomfortable taking a five iron, so this could come up short. I'm taking a six. And let's just see if we can work it in there. It's a back pin. A good line. All right, just on the front of the green. Caught it off the toe a little bit, but uh, it worked out. Nice. Okay, I've walked this off to be about 30 feet up the hill. I think it's gonna break right to left. Wind is kind of blowing it that way too. So a two putt would be good here. So let's see if we can get this pace right. I'm not gonna play too far out to the right. They aren't breaking as much as I, as much as I think. Oh man, that was close. That felt so soft, but we got up there. Nice. Par. Man, I love these par three courses, executive courses, even playing front tee boxes sometime, it can boost the confidence. This executive course is not easy. It's difficult to play. I happen to be doing pretty well today. I'm saving it, but you can see I'm not striking it the greatest. I'm hitting, you know, some fades that could probably classify as some slices coming up short sometimes. Luckily, I'm making a few chips and putts that count, uh, but it can go, you know, south pretty quick. So uh, I advise you play some of these executive courses, par threes, uh, play front tee boxes. It's great practice for your approach game, good for the confidence, and just changes things up. It gives you a different perspective on a course that you might play often. And who cares what tees you play off? It's uh, interesting to have new experiences. All right, number 14 is a tough one, playing 180 off the back tees, but this collection of holes here, 14, 15, 16, just really beautiful open area. I would love for this to be my backyard. All right, I'm not playing around here. 180 into the wind, a little bit of a crosswind too. I'm gonna to take a three hybrid. If it goes long, fine, but it's gonna take a lot of club to get there, I think. Little fade, wind's holding it off. I couldn't see where it landed. Maybe right side, we might be chipping, we'll see. All right, right into the sun here. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. Came up a little short right here. That uh, fade I hit was just being held off by the wind. But uh, this is a juicy lie. I've got a 54 degree, because it's a little bit of an upslope. And uh, boy, I'd love to get to tap in range here. That was a really good chip. Rolling away little bit but it kind of took a peek and just broke off to the left there hopefully we can make that putt now I did see how that rolled you know from where it came in so there is a hefty amount of break here but getting the speeds for these brakes is a bit of a challenge I don't want to race it through the break hopefully I can just dribble it in Yes! Saved a par! Boy, it's a good day. Okay, another par four here. Uh, number 15, it's uh, 290. From the intermediate tees, it's, uh, it's often drivable if weather conditions are kind of helping, uh, or for big hitters. From the 
back tees here, not really drivable for me, but I'm still gonna kind of go down the left side uh, because the wind is pushing to the right and I do have that fade today. So I think it's safe even if I pull it, I'll have a shot into the green on the left side. I'd love to get a nice big drive here. I did pull it, it's curving a bit. Oh, I think I got a cart path bounce too, so we're well down there. You know, it's not in the fairway, but it's where I hit it. So, mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, I've got 52 yards here. Not the uh, best place to leave it because of that bunker in the way, but I played for this miss. So I'm gonna take a 54 degree wedge and just try and put it up over this grassy slope, hoping it catches a bit of the slope and rolls down towards that back pin. But just a nice, it's pretty soft here around this cart path. So I've gotta be careful that the club doesn't just sink right down under the, under the ground. I have to kind of pick it a little bit clean. Did exactly what I had hoped. I don't see it, so we'll see where the ball is when we get up there. All right, we're on the other side of that slope. There's a lot more rough than I thought. Thankfully, we got through it just to the fringe there. We've got a birdie putt. I feel like this is gonna break a little left or right, but not a whole lot. Actually, a bit of a mound here, so it might wanna go left uh, right at the start. So this is, a, this is a tricky one. I'm kind of right on a mound here. Ooh, let's see. Very careful with that. Okay, stop. Not bad, not bad. I don't expect to keep rolling the ball at a camera range, but boy, these are rolling so nicely. They just keep going. You gotta be delicate. We made our par. Nice. Good time. Okay, number 16 here. Playing about 150 to the pin uh, from these back tees. I'm not sure what wind is doing. It's still sort of hurting and coming right to left. So, still feel things are coming up a little short, so I'm going to take a six iron. Just getting on the green would be really nice here. Oh! That was a bad swing. We're going to have our work cut out for us here. Went off to the right. The sun beaming down on us. I have to take my medicine here. This one was way offline. I don't know, 30 yards or so. I've got to play it up to the right because this green really swirls down to the front. So 54 degree wedge. And up and down here would be just magnificent. It's gonna to be tough though. Let's see if I can get this on the green. All right, it might be a little too high right. It kind of bounced to the right. So we'll see what we've got. It rolled out quite longer than I thought. I probably should have taken the 60 degree. And this just peels down there. These greens are rolling so slick that I've got to really be careful. Maybe play this pretty high and let it trickle down to the hole. The two putt here is really tough. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, not bad. Slow down. Slow down. All right. Wow, that's going to be a tough one. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whew. Okay, number 17 here. The back pin is playing 145 from these back tees. But I do not want to go along. It almost feels like wind has shifted and it's helping a little bit but there's trouble, there's bunkers to carry over there. It's a lot nicer shot from the other tee boxes. This is a tough one. So I'm gonna club down, I'm gonna take a nine iron because just getting it on the green, middle of the green would be nice. So let's see if 
we can get this to work. Hopefully a better iron swing than that last one. A little thin and that might just work out. I think it might have landed middle of the green. We'll see if it released. Hmm. Really long putt here. It uh, only released about three feet beyond the pitch mark. It shows you how soft it is, which is generally nice if you land it up near the pin. But even with the skinny shot, I have quite the putt left. Oh, my pockets are all filling up with air. This is a long putt. This is probably 40 feet. Bit of a double breaker. It might break a little bit to the right to start and then go over this mound and back down. So again, one of these putts, you just hope for a two putt. Try and get it in there for a tap in. Slow down. Wow, that felt so soft and I still have Ooh, it's still rolling. I've got almost 10 feet left. Oh, gotta work for it. All right, well, we saw it turning past the hole, so it's got to break left to right. I've gotten used to slow greens. This is nice, though. Yes, no, no, just stopped breaking. Bogey, three putt bogey, but I'll take it. I'm just enjoying it. All right, this last number, 18, it's par four. All water on the right here at dog legs around that bank. It's 250 yards and I've got a good round going, so I should just play a hybrid or an iron out to that fairway and pitch it in. But uh, a lot of people, <laughs> if you've played this course, know it's fun to try and go for it. Just make sure it's clear and anyone who's walked off that green is, is long gone. So it, the greens are soft. The rough is, you know, a little bit damp that I don't think it'll roll out too long. So I'm going to try a driver here. The wind coming off the right should help any fade that gets in there. Have some fun. Why not? Take the risk. All right, well, I pulled across it, but it's fading beautifully for this hole. Here's the walk of the fairway. Just water all along the right side. What a beautiful and challenging finishing hole. All right, just short of the green here, about 25 yards. I was in some wet stuff on this side of the fairway, so gave myself a club length into the area that's a bit drier. Hopefully we can get it up there close. Oh, we have ourselves a birdie chance. Okay. It would be nice to finish this off in style. Uphill, maybe breaking a little left or right, I think. Kind of a tough one. But let's see what we can do. I would love to make this. Oh, <laughs> so close. No harm done with a par. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Ended up being a two over uh, round of 64. And uh, I really love this course. Uh, this is the North course at Ballyhaley. I love the opportunity to get out and play alone. Um, I love playing with people in the community, but I always play my best golf alone. Especially I find when I'm filming and talking to the camera, talking through my shots. It gives me that extra little zone of relaxation uh, to just play without pressure. Uh, if you're out there filming, just make sure you're keeping pace of play. You're not holding anybody up. And uh, I really recommend coming out and playing this course. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack.